When setting out to create the music for Red Dead Redemption, the challenge was to exceed the high expectations fans have for the soundtracks and other Rockstar titles. Rockstar tipped their hat to the masters who created the Western music genre, while re-envisioning it for the 21st century, and making an original score that is interactive and changes based on what the player does. The goal was to complement the visually stunning game world with a score that is equally authentic. To achieve that goal and level of authenticity, Rockstar reached out to musicians that played traditional period instruments and utilized both digital and analog recording techniques. They brought on composers Woody Jackson and Bill Elm, who worked to show a respect for the past, but retool it for a modern medium. All the Westerns, we were always into that stuff, with these composers Morricone and Francis Lai and Bruno Nicolai. I think it's definitely finding a balance, paying homage to what's there, but also trying to add our own stamp to the music. I love the music from all those old Clint Eastwood movies and all that stuff has been a huge influence on me and I've, I've loved that music forever. The team brought together top musicians to create an authentic Western experience. You know, a lot of sessions are like trying to serve a song, whereas with this it's more like just kind of coming up with an emotion but being a little more vague about it, trying to be somewhat background material but engage the listener in an emotional level at the same time. Toco la trompeta y la quita el drum. Y la trompeta con la quita el drum. Can you just do some like chords? Some like two note uh, thirds, like moving kind of like mariachi. For the true sound of the West, Rockstar contacted harmonica legend Tommy Morgan, who has worked on classic Western soundtracks and TV shows for 60 years. Yeah. Vibrato. Very fast vibrato. Combination of those two give the unique spaghetti Western sound. Bill and Woody were especially creative about finding interesting sounds for the games. They searched high and low to find the perfect instruments and sounds. This is the guitar I used on most of it. It's an ugly guitar, but it makes a pretty sound. These are jaw harps, uh, and these are on the frontier. This is the one, you know. Having researched and discovered instruments to have an authentic Western sound, the biggest challenge was finding a way of recording a score that could adapt according to decisions the player makes. So instead of songs, they composed stems. We had to devise a method by which those stems could be used practically anywhere in the game and interact with other stems. The team decided to create all the music at 130 beats per minute in A minor so that the game engine can play stems on top of one another and create music on the fly. If you jump on a horse, our bass line kicks in. When you start getting chased, timpanis roll in and big fuzz guitars roll in and there's a shootout. The music actually changes with the action. Getting the right combination of music and timing is essential to further connecting the player to the world that Rockstar created. And I have a lot of respect for Rockstar for trying to create something that's innovative. It's a super cool project.